Hey everyone, Theo here. Today I'm reviewing the Mark Levinson number 5909 wireless Bluetooth headphones with active noise cancelling. These are high-end headphones with a price tag to match. Official retail price is US $999. Here in Singapore, it's $1,499 Singapore dollars. And it will be available from March 2022 onwards. Let me cover some disclaimers. First, this is a review unit from the company Clarity Group that's selling the headphones here in Singapore. But this is not a paid review. I wanted to make this review because I wanted to see or hear how good these headphones are. Secondly, I don't consider myself an audiophile, so while I can describe the physical attributes and the features of the headphones, to truly assess the audio quality, I highly recommend you bring your own songs to their sales centers to test this out yourself. I have the address of their sales centers in the video description below, as well as a coupon code for Singapore customers to save up to 200 Singapore dollars of the official retail price. I'm not an affiliate, so I don't earn any money from the sale of the headphones. All right, let's unbox this. So this is a slide out box. Now all the items included in the box are already listed on the side of the box and the packaging looks nice. On the back here, there is this list of features which I will go through later. Let's get the box out of the box. There are magnets here on the front. So this is the headphone cushion here for protection. That's the carrying case. It's quite big and this looks like the manual and warranty info there's also a microfiber cleaning cloth in the small box let's take a closer look at the hard shell carrying zip case which looks like it's designed to keep out water product name is printed on both sides of the zipper and the teeth for the zip is concealed that's the logo in front. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is this horizontal texture on the cover. Let's see what's inside. Probably the cables. In this case, by the way, it's very sturdy. Yes, we have the cables. Um, this is quite long which is nice and there is this little pouch here with more cables and adapters this is a 4 meter long USB-C to 3.5 millimeter cable it's a braided cable and it's quite flexible the design looks nice this USB-C to C cable is 1 meter and 25 centimeters long there is another USB-C to 3.5 mm cable, but this one is shorter. This one is 1 meter and 25 centimeters long. This is the airplane adapter, USB type A to USB type C adapter. A 3.5 mm to 6.3 mm adapter. This is the Mark Levinson number 5909. The design looks good. This is a beautiful design. The weight is 340 grams. Now this is marketed as a lightweight wireless headphone. However, when it comes to weight, I always recommend people to head down to the store to test it out, to test out the weight, to find out how comfortable it is to wear the headphone because different people have different head sizes and different tolerance for weight. 340 grams is not that heavy, but it's not that light either compared to other brands of headphones I have tested. Now some people equate something heavier with a more premium feel. That may be applicable here. So they are using anodized aluminum for the frame. This is real leather, by the way. This headphone is available in three colors. This particular one is pearl black. They have eyes pewter as well, which is gray. They also have radium red. Not all the solid parts are made with metal because the company mentions metal painted surfaces. So this could be the metal painted surface. I like the grills here. They look quite nice. So this is matte textured and this is glossy and this is real leather cushion. The leather cushion can be replaced and they have a good amount of padding 
and this is quite soft quite nice exterior of the headband is hard leather by the way you can pull this one out by the way the headband is not soft throughout this part here right to the edge of my thumb is hard and this part here is the soft cushion part here's a close-up on the red threading when you wear the headphones the buttons will be at the back where the thumbs can reach easily on the left ear cup this button will switch between active noise cancelling and ambient aware modes and this is the power button which can be used for bluetooth pairing i managed to pair this headphone with five devices so that's great and on the right side we have playback control buttons so we can adjust the volume and this button in the middle when you press once you can answer or end calls press twice to skip forward press three times to skip backwards and long press to activate the voice assistant on your phone or tablet there's a four array mic on the headphone to filter out wind noise and background noise when you are taking calls i'm not sure where the mics are there are some tiny grills at the top so those could be it or maybe the grills here at the bottom or maybe the holes on the ear cups i'm actually not too sure the tiny holes here are the light indicators for bluetooth pairing and this one is for the power or battery life this is an over the ear headphone so it's going to cover the ears but not press on the ears and it's quite comfortable thanks to the soft cushion on the side and also at the top the padding is quite big so it doesn't exert that much pressure and even though i'm wearing spectacles it's still quite comfortable so this is definitely something i can wear for a long period of time without feeling discomfort however i'm not going to wear this outdoors here in singapore because of the humid weather uh, wearing this outdoors is going to make me sweat very easily so this is probably best used indoors here's how the headphone looks on the side if i shake my head due to the weight it's going to shake more easily so if i'm running after the bus i will definitely hold the headphone and run let's talk about audio quality so this is a so-called high-res certified headphone it's supposed to give you or produce reference quality sound it supports LDAC, AAC and FX and I'm going to list some numbers by the side here because I just cannot remember all the technical numbers anyway the sound quality is excellent it has good clarity across low and high frequencies across different volumes the sound is very clear very crisp I usually listen to instruments and soundtracks and I can hear the individual instrument very clearly the audio quality is definitely top notch and when it's silent it's really silent without any sound buzz or static now the audio quality will depend a lot on the bluetooth connection so if you have bluetooth interference for example if you are using multiple bluetooth devices that can actually affect the bluetooth connection and affect the audio quality and the audio quality is better with active noise cancelling turned on rather than off when the ANC is off uh, the bass is not that obvious but when you turn on ANC uh, the bass is really nice and you can adjust the bass using the iPhone or Android app I will consider the sound profile of this headphone to be neutral which is what I prefer because when I'm listening to music I just want to listen to it as it is without any form of enhancement so this is the Mark Levinson app that's paired to the headphone and here you can switch between the different ANC modes and ambient awareness since the battery life is up to 30 hours with ANC turned on it doesn't make sense to turn off noise cancelling because you get the best audio quality with noise cancelling turned on there is actually not much you can do with this app uh, in terms of audio adjustments you can only adjust the base i have it at neutral which is pretty good and here you can set the auto off timer i have it at 30 minutes and the on hit detection means 
when you take off the headphones the song will stop playing and when you put back the headphones the song will continue and it works quite well there are two modes for ambient awareness there is voice pass which allows you to hear people talking to you more easily and there is ambient awareness which lets you hear your surroundings from what I've read online, the driver is beryllium coated and beryllium is usually used in high-end audio products because it has better lower distortion and higher frequency propagation. I'm not sure what's the maximum number of devices the headphone can be paired with. I've managed to pair it successfully with five devices. If you want to pair it with the next Bluetooth device, you have to disconnect your current device first. Otherwise, the headphone will always be connected to that device. So let me show you how. Just disconnect this and turn on Bluetooth to find the headphone. And the connection is pretty fast. You may see the battery life percentage in the Bluetooth settings. If you can't see it here, you can always find it inside the Mark Levinson app. And depending on the device you are using, you may have to turn on the codex manually. As a non-audiophile, I am not able to hear the difference between LDAC and not having LDAC. I mean, the audio quality sounds equally good with this on or without it. So currently, I'm recording this audio segment using the headphones and my computer in a quiet room. So this is the audio quality you can expect from calls. And the audio quality is actually pretty good when the environment is not that noisy. So I've just switched on this fan that I have here and the wind is blowing directly towards me and the fan is also making this very loud noise. And this is the audio quality you can expect from the headphones with so much uh, wind noise and ambient background noise and just for comparison purposes this is how the audio quality sounds like with the Rode Lavia mic that I'm currently using with the fan blowing at me right here and currently I'm playing some really loud background noise from some cafe video that I found on YouTube and this is the audio quality you can expect when there is a lot of noise, people talking, maybe traffic in the background. As you have heard, you are going to get the best audio quality when you are taking calls in a quiet environment. But when there is background noise, the mics will try their best to filter out the noise. However, there will be a drop in the audio quality for calls. All right, to conclude, I really enjoy using the headphone. The design looks good, the build quality is solid, the audio quality is excellent. I actually don't have many negative things to say about this. For the downsides, um, maybe the app could have more features and I don't like having to press one time, two times, three times to switch between the different play modes. So maybe there could be more physical buttons for the playback controls, but those are minor issues so as mentioned earlier in the video i highly recommend you test this out yourself in person because only then can you appreciate the sound quality and decide whether or not these are worth the money so thanks for watching this video i hope it's helpful see you in the next video bye